Larry Kudlow says tariffs are the secret sauce to Trump's working class coalition. I agree with that because it'll bring back manufacturing in the United States. It'll um, also use as a bargaining tool um, a, for these for a bunch of these unfair trade practices that's going on around the world. You know, um, <laughs> we've been allowing uh, uh, countries like um, Germany since uh since uh after world war world war ii germany and, and japan to not have any tariffs um on their on their uh exports but throw massive tariffs on us and we they use it as an excuse to help rebuild like europe and things like that but um <laughs> europe has already been rebuilt germany has already been rebuilt why are we continuing to have these unfair trade practices where they levy tariffs on us but we don't have any tariffs in return. It's not right. Um, I agree with Trump when it comes to tariffs, but uh, we're going to play this clip and, and, um, and, and get Larry Kudlow's point of view. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my um my instagram and my ex account so follow me there as well all right so let's get into this news let's just go ahead right ahead and, and start this clip here we go folks tariffs could be the secret sauce to trump's working class coalition and that's the subject of tonight's riff in case you didn't read it check out today's wall street journal editorial kamala harris pitched to black men will more pot smoking and forgivable loans peel them from trump this with three weeks to go if people fall for this forgivable loans trap <laughs> i don't know what i got a bridge to sell you you know what i'm saying like this is just who really believes in a forgivable loan what is a forgivable loan what does that mean in the first place in the second place we know how people got caught up in the ppp stuff and the trap that they ended up taking that ppp money and end up getting in trouble for it um and, and plus th this uh uh this forgivable loan thing would never pass muster. It, it would never pass Congress. And if it do pass Congress, it'll go to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court would call this unconstitutional because you can't make a broad, uh, you can't make a specific like type of um, legislation like this that only targets one group. <laughs> That's unconstitutional. You can't do that. On the campaign, she'd spend twenty thousand dollars in forgivable government loans for one million minorities to start businesses. But as we learned with the March 21st so-called American Rescue uh, Plan, that's way back in 2021, that had a loan forgiveness program for socially disadvantaged farmers defined as black, American, Indian, Alaskan, Native, Hispanic, Asian, and Pacific Islander. And then several judges enjoined the program, and the Department of Justice didn't even appeal. Exactly. The from Kamala is... It's, it's not... It's not <laughs> it would never work. It would never work. We tried this before. The Supreme Court would shut it down. Essentially the same thing. Allocating government loans on the basis of race is unconstitutional. Then comes the bit about legalizing marijuana, which frankly is beyond stupid. In fact, the more people who smoke pot, the stupider they become. That's what black communities in California... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't agree with them on that. I'm a firm believer in uh, medicinal marijuana. Um, I'm a firm. Some, now, some people really, uh, it, it's like anything else. Some some things work great for some people. Some things don't work great for some uh, from others. It's, bio, it's, it's, um, it's biological, you know, uh, just like with certain medications. I know people that uh, caffeine will have the exact opposite effect on them. Caffeine puts some people to sleep. While on most people, it, it, it wakes them up, you know, uh, it, it gives them energy. So when it comes to marijuana, some people can be can use marijuana medicinally, recreationally and still function like myself, <laughs> myself included. But some people, marijuana, it can make them psychotic. It, it makes it makes gives them um, anxiety and things like that. But it's, it's just like any other type of medication or drugs. It, 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 it affects people differently. So. Um, I, I disagree with Cudlow on that point. Don't come after my marijuana now. <laughs> California have learned. That's what everybody, even in New York, has learned. And there are all kinds of self-help spiritual programs. 
that will help people stop getting stupid. None of these <laughs> half-baked ideas are going to help Kamala at this stage of the game. But her problem with black males is just part of her overall problem with males in general. Facts. Young men are leaving the Democratic Party. That according to the Harvard Institute of Politics. And rightfully so. I mean, they the, the Democrat Party is anti-men, is anti-family. I mean, what man in their right mind that cares about their country, that cares about their family would vote Democrat? Use, I mean, being logically, being being reasonable, who would do that? I don't, I don't get it. Only 33% of young men now identify as Democrats compared to 42% back in 2020. The reasons, as you might guess, are largely economic. Rising prices are killers to young men, particularly the Biden slump in manufacturing, where pre-pandemic, you know, Trump created 450,000 manufacturing jobs, yep. whereas Biden-Harris, at the same stage of the cycle, only 187,000. Economic anxieties, particularly for those without a college degree, running mm -hmm. very high. They yep. see Trump as more hopeful than Kamala Harris. Higher rents, along with higher prices, driving young men toward Trump. The same can be said for high interest rates and the broken affordability dream of getting married and buying your own first home. Yep. Interestingly, while economists are free traders and believe Trump's tariffs are somehow inherently inflationary, the reality on the ground is that young men and you might say blue collar working folks in general, will they favor tariffs by considerable margins? They recall yep. There was no inflation during the Trump years. But Thanks. they were pleased to see Trump fight back against China. When it comes to manufacturing jobs, they see Trump as a continued fighter against China, and maybe India, and perhaps elsewhere as well. But mostly, they want homegrown jobs to be available for those who do not have a college degree. And that's about two-thirds of the American male workforce who still work with their hands and still believe that America can be great again. This mm -hmm. is Trump's working class coalition. Blacks, Hispanics, Asians, whites, young men, and etc. Maybe it's growing. That's it. That's that's facts. And and the mainstream media is baffled. You know, you had Anna, um, what's the chick from the view? Anna Navarro. She come out, I don't understand why Hispanics are um are, are voting for Trump. And then you got um um what's his name? Geraldo Rivera, Mr. Mustache. He coming out and saying this exact same thing. They don't understand. This is why people are voting for Trump. We remember the good old days when Trump was in office and the economy was booming. People had money in their pocket. Um, immigration was under control. Illegal immigration was under control. This is this is the reason why people are leaving the Democratic plantation. But uh, but people like like Anna Navarro and people like um uh uh. uh Mr. Mustache would never understand that because they live in their ivory towers and they their gated communities. Life is good for them. They don't under, They don't understand that. They don't see the difference um, between uh, uh, Harris' uh, uh, economy and, and Trump's economy because they 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 didn't suffer. They didn't they didn't have to um, stress about groceries going um, going up. So is a is a disconnect there. Rowan. It is a force to be reckoned with just three weeks from today. And that is the subject of the riff. All right. Facts, facts, facts. I agree with most of what he said, aside from <laughs> aside from him attacking my, uh, my marijuana. But uh, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.